What's up guys, Nepenthes here and welcome back to another episode of The Road to Glory. EA done a madness with the player of the month and they required an Inform Aguero. I personally feel like that was a huge mistake on their part. We'll discuss deeper why uh, quite shortly. I sold, um, I've, I've listed up a lot of my investments. I actually made good profit on many of my investments. Um, David Silver has gone up by about 10, 15,000 coins. Still, Otamendi has still gone up. He's about 72,000 right now, and I picked him up for like 69,500. So it's, it's not like maybe after tax we make a few hundred coins at most if I can sell him for 75k. Um, Giroud, I bought him for what, 30 some odd K, 40,500, and there was an open bid of like 43,000 on him, and I have a hunter on him, so maybe we get more. But you can see I've listed up all these players here. Some of them I'm selling for a little bit more and will just lose a bit of tax and some of them I'm selling for a lot more than I actually bought them for and will actually get good sales on those, uh, which will be nice. But that's not what we're here to discuss today. Um, we are going to be using this sick team that I built, guys. So obviously no player of the month today. I said to you guys I'll get player of the month Aguero no matter what. I'm not going to now, obviously. Um, because that Inform Aguero is just way too expensive. Uh, right now the cheapest Inform Aguero is 1.2 million coins. And it just doesn't represent value for money. With the other teams coming in at about five to 600,000, you're looking at 1.8 to 2 million to buy Sergio Aguero. And that's just ludicrous. I got rid of those stat cards, not on all of them. I didn't actually play a game. I just went into an offline game um, and DC'd out of it. And then uh, there we are. So we are going to go into our first foot chance game today. But lots to talk about. The Lunar New Year will be live and, and kicking by the time you're watching this. I don't know how many games I'm going to get through this weekend for the simple fact that I obviously my newborn is here now. Um... He's sleeping a lot through the day, which allows me time in the day to, to do some such. But during the night is when he's awake. Apparently, according to the midwife that came today, maybe you don't want to know about this, maybe you do, I don't really care. According to the midwife today, the reason why they sleep during the day and not during the night so much when they're just a newborn for the first like week or so is because they're used to moving around more in the tummy at night rather than in the day. So it takes them a while to adjust to you know the, the day slash night sleeping habits. So... Obviously, my girlfriend is um, exhausted right now, as you can imagine. And um, for me to be able to give her the time to get rest and get sleep, I'm going to be taking care of the baby in the evenings when she's asleep. So for that reason, um, for that reason, let's put Larson up front there. Yeah, for that reason, I won't be able to play so much just because I'll be sleeping a lot during the day. Like as I normally did, you know, I'd be going to bed anywhere between 5 a.m. and 6 a.m. so that I can take care of the baby from like midnight onwards. And then at 6 when I go to bed, I'll get up at 2, so that it doesn't give me much time to play as that, that many games. So all we'll be going for this weekend, generally speaking, is probably 11 wins, just to also qualify. It sucks that we're going to miss out on a potential um, good set of monthly rewards, but hey man, family first, you know what I mean? I, I put anything before, um, yeah, any, anything before my family. Damn it, man, I should... Oh. I've got to remember the things that I learned recently. I've been I've been looking at some new attacking methods, and I've got to remember those. Oh, here's here's one of those attacking methods. Long shots, not really, but you know what I mean. Um, so um, first of all, let's talk about player of the month Aguero and why I didn't think it would require an inform Aguero. And and can I also say that EA are? How has he missed that? EA are cheesy as hell, not allowing players with the red Agueros to complete it. You you literally require an inform Aguero, and that's you know you, you you can't get away with the red Aguero. You can't get away with the um, you can't get away with the uh, Otamendi inform. You can't get away with the Fernandinho. You need the inform Aguero. Uh, so straight off the bat, they're saying that a card that was already a million coins is going to be a must required card now. It is Lunar New Year, lots of packs are going to get opened, and off the back of that, like the 93 Aguero may become relatively reasonably priced for a 93 Aguero. But the three sections that aren't in Form Aguero total about five to 600,000 coins from scratch. Of course, you get some packs back from that, which will generate some revenue, and of course, you may already have some players to complete some of those things um as untrade is that a foul so first of all Rykov misses a sitter and then he gets a foul given against him for what seemed to be a good tackle come on EA come on now um so yeah I personally don't think that I, I think you know if you take into consideration the other three nodes are worth um well he might actually win this header here 
The other three nodes are worth like 500 to 600,000. Having it as a regular Aguero who would have gone up to his 550 max bin would have set him at about a million coins. And I think that's a reasonable price for a few reasons. Some people say like, you know, you've got to remember this is akin to a team of the year card, which I don't think it is. It doesn't have team of the year stats. I think a team of the year Aguero would have had considerably higher upgraded stats. If you look at Harry Kane's card, which by the way is cheaper to buy as a tradable card than Aguero is to craft as an untradable card. Um, I think, uh, yeah, if, if you look at t Harry Kane's team, you know, stats, the team of the year has got momentous boosts. But this 94 Kane, uh, sorry, this 94 Aguero is literally one like a 94 in form it's not it's not a team of the year car like it's compared to his 93 which is obviously his, his other card it's got one extra pace like so basically the team of the the player of the month card has 92 pace 95 dribbling 95 shooting 86 passing and 83 physical i believe a team of the year aguero because he already has a 92 and a 93 and if it should he have got a team of the year i know he didn't but should he got should he have done because if you look if you take a look at harry kane being up there at a 96 rated squad um, you would see that Aguero probably would have been a 97 or a 98 rated card, which is fair or fair enough, you know, let's say he's even a 97, but he would have most likely had 95 pace, 99 shooting, 98 dribbling, um, 86 physical, and maybe 90 passing. He would have been upgraded just considerably more than he has been to date, right? I, I think that's very, very fair to say. I don't, I, I don't think you can really dispute that. Um, oof, good save. Um, so, you know, this is just another inform upgrade. And so the fact that you're paying 2 million coins for a card that is untradeable, first and foremost. Oh, that was cheeky from Larson. Oh, uh, untradeable first and foremost, and more expensive than a team of the year Kane, a team of the year Ramos, a team of the year Marcelo, a Diego Maradona icon card, 95 striker Messi, 94 Ronaldo, uh, 95 one to watch Neymar. These are all cards that you can buy as tradable cards, tradable cards that are as good as maybe better, depending on what you want and what you need them for, than the Nieguero and cheaper. You can buy Cristiano Ronaldo, who I will say is just going to be a better card than player of the month Aguero for less money than you can craft player of the month Aguero for. Now, I, I just I think EA have just missed the ball. I understand that it's a super, super high rated card, but they didn't even give him the two inform upgrade that they've given to all the other cards today as player of the month cards. All the other cards today have gone upgraded to as an inform. This Aguero only won. So if this was a 95 Aguero, maybe again, I'd be like, okay, this is a double upgrade. I can understand a little bit more as to why he has got the inform required. But the fact that this is just one upgrade from his 93 rated card and it's super expensive and it's only there for two weeks. Now, I know a lot of people say, you know, compared to some of the prime icons, compared to Ronaldinho, who's 3 million, compared to Henri, who's 2.7 million, you know, this 94 Aguero at 2 million, reasonable. And if you look at it like that, I, I completely understand that vision. I can see that, I can accept that. But the prime icons are there forever. You have time to build up to them, to earn the cards needed, to work towards them, to use your red informs as, as placeholders for other cards. So you basically have as long as you want to craft those cards if it suits you. That was a really, really bad pass on my behalf. Yeah, you basically have as long as you want to craft those cards. With this Aguero, you have two weeks. You, you are bound by time. And that should be taken into consideration when considering the price of the Aguero card. And I don't think it has been. Um, it's also likely that Sergio Aguero will get uh, another player of the month next month. It's not guaranteed. The reason why I say it's likely is because there's only one more um, there's only one more run of games for February, and because Aguero has four goals in one of the games and is already head and shoulders looking like the best player, the only other player I say might, might get close to it, and I, and I haven't really looked like intensely. But I feel like De Bruyne might have a chance. But then again, a De Bruyne player of the month would be quite useless as well because he has a team of the year card. But yeah, so, it, you know, as, as long as Aguero has a decent game in his next game uh, for, the, for February, it's likely that he will also get player of the month for February, which will then be a 95 rated card. So I guess EA have taken that into consideration for his rating. Uh, you know, they, they've obviously rated him 94 because they're worried, right? Like if they give him a 95 card now and he wins player of the month next week, uh, next month, sorry... 
then he's going to have a 96 player of the month. If he then gets one or two more special cards throughout the whole year, he's going to have a 99 rated team of the season, or he might even have a 99 rated card before team of the season. And that would be catastrophic. So I can understand in terms of, you know, worrying about the rating, why he's a 94. But in terms of the price, it's just extortionate. It's extortionate. Honestly, I, I just, I can't imagine anyone that does this unless they've just got super lucky because they have an untradeable regular uh, gold inform Aguero that that would give you reason to do it you know let's say you opened um, an untradeable pack through the year you know you did a two player pack when Aguero was a team of the week and you got an Aguero then I say yeah it's reasonable to do that player of the month Aguero because you're getting a humongous discount on this uh, on this card no problem at all there if um, you have basically everything untradeable and you bought an inform aguero for say 700,000 coins some weeks ago i can absolutely again understand why you would do this sergio aguero card if however you have nothing i can't imagine anybody in this game looks at this card and thinks you know what i really want to put two million coins into an untradeable card that's not only likely to get a higher rated player of the month card next month but is so on form this year that he's almost definitely going to get an inform to bump this in like he'll get you know next week next next premier league game all he has to do is score another hat trick and then boom he gets another inform and that's going to be a 96 inform that will be cheaper than the player of the month card and tradable and he's going to get a team of the season that will be at the very least 98 rated and because of how we know team of the season reacts in this game a 98 rated team of the season Aguero will probably be around the same value as a tradable card as the current player of the month is now. So, and, and then again, taking into consideration the fact that you can go and buy a, a Maradona icon, play with him, use him, have fun with him, and then sell him afterwards instead of completing this Aguero. I, I, can't, I, just, I can't see anyone in their right mind looking at this Aguero thinking, whoop, this is this is the one for me. It just doesn't make sense. I think EA, as I say, I've got it drastically wrong. The only other thing I could say, you know, what would have been good, because I think regular Aguero would have been good anyway, and not because I invested in it. I've, I've actually, as I say, you know, I've made some good money from the investments anyway, and, and I think the regular Aguero will recover back to around 330, 340, because that was his resting price before people started dumping him, and he's out of packs this week, so there's going to be none of him packed which is going to be good for his price recovering quite quickly, right? So I'll get my money back for Aguero. That's not a problem. And if I don't get my money back, I might lose a little bit. And again, for me, that's not really a problem. Um, it, so putting in a regular Aguero would be good because his current price, max price range is 550. And if he went extinct, you could just up, up that to 700, 750. And it makes it a little, a little bit more reasonable. Is that offside or is he stayed on side? He stayed on side there. Let's go Larson. Go on, lad. That's a good block. It's a little more reasonable. Um, and th that would have made him about 1 to 1.1 million if you had nothing. And if you invested early and were smart, it would have made it around 800,000 or less. And I think that is reasonable for this card based on the things that I've pretty much just explained. I think that would have been very, very, very reasonable um, to, to, to have, essentially. Um, the other thing I, w I, I want to discuss is I'm very intrigued as to what EA are going to do with the Lunar New Year. On Xbox earlier on today, they released a lightning round of 125k packs, which I don't think they were supposed to do because they released them again a little bit afterwards. And, um, oh, ref, is that a foul? Uh, yeah, they released them again a little bit afterwards. Ooh. And um, they removed them immediately, right? So I don't think they were supposed to do them, but we're getting some two for one packs coming. Now, this could be huge for accounts if you spend FIFA points and they're in lightning rounds. But I also think this might be huge if EA are smart with this for their entire user base. In terms of 2v1 packs, how awesome would it be if everything this week was 2v1? 2, two four, one. Everything. If everything this week was 2 for 1, how awesome would that be? We know how much of a coin sink packs are anyway. We know how much of a coin sink SBCs are. We know how much of a coin sink just playing this game is in general, unless you're, you know, unless you're coy with your coins um but imagine you just buy a 5k gold pack and in that five it, you know you're guaranteed another 5k gold pack for free imagine you you win the draft or you just play the draft and when you get your rewards at the end in every pack you get ooh, good save in every pack you get a bonus pack so let's say you win the draft and you get a 50k pack and a 5k pack in that 5k pack you get another 5k pack and then in that 50k pack you get another 50k pack and in every area of FIFA Ultimate Team you get a two for one deal that for me 
would be massive and a token of good gesture to everybody that plays this game. If, however, the 2v1 is only for people that spend money during lightning rounds, it is again another notch on the list of EA's ridiculous greed towards their consumer base. They're saying to you, you can have something for free only if you spend money first. You know, coins as well, but I, I saw um, one of the Reddit mods tweeted uh, that he bought one, he had 125k coins on his account. He bought one of the 125k packs and obviously then got one more for free. He sold the contents of both of those packs and ended up with 93,000 coins. So off the back of basically 250,000 coins worth of 125k packs, he got 93k back. So, you know, if you, like, if you're saying you have to buy the packs to get rewarded, it, that doesn't reward us. It just means that we now got two chances of getting basically nothing. And that is not a reward. That is, it is a money-making scam, once again, of EA just showing their utter, utter greed to their consumer base that all they're interested in is how much money they can make from us and not giving us content and and giving us rewards for being long-standing good players and and good customers you know that I, I don't see the problem in giving a guy that opens a 5k gold pack another 5k gold pack because as i say the likelihood is that he's going to get bugger all out of both of those packs sure it will have an impact on the market but these two for ones are going to have an impact on the market anyway it's not like it's going to make much of a difference and and then if they do do, haha, I said do do. If they do do these two for one packs and such all over the place and, and give double rewards for divisions and double rewards for foot draft and double rewards for squad battles on Monday, if they do all of this, then I can actually start understanding why the Sergio Aguero requirements might be as they are. Because it's like, hey, this market is going to crash hard. So the, the, this Sergio Aguero that is currently, you know, 1.8 to 2 million coins, depending on how much you, you have or don't have already in the account. But let's say you start from scratch, you're looking at 1.8 million coins before the packs, of course. Okay, well now you're going to get double packs back. So that 100k pack that you get from the Sergio Aguero section is actually going to be two 100k packs. The... Um, the price of the Inform Aguero is going to come down massively because there's going to be so many packs open. So, that, you know, there's going to be so many of him flooded onto the market. And more importantly, the, the price of all the other players required are also going to drop just absolutely dramatically off the back of the fact that... Um, Oi, Penref. Uh, off the back of the fact that there are so many packs being opened that are then given as bonus packs that uh, the pr player price is going to come down. And that will probably force the Sergio Aguero Player of the Month down to around... Uh, you know, if you get double packs in it and then if you complete it and, and you get even nothing in those packs, it's going to be cheaper to complete. It's going to be, it's just going to be great, right? And it will basically take it, in my opinion, from like a 1.8 million coin um, SBC, maybe 1.5 with what you've got already pre-prepared pre and what you get back in the packs to somewhere around the 900,000 coin to 1 million coin mark. And at that point, I can understand, oh, okay, now I see why EA did what they did. Um... Oh, that last light tackle was, was jammy as hell. Um, but yeah, I, I mean, I'm a little bit disappointed in uh, how EA have handled the Player of the Month card. I'm, I'm, I'm more disappointed because I was, at, I, was, I was very, very excited to, uh, to get it and use it for myself. You know, I, I really was. Maybe we'll try for the 95 Player of the Month. Let's see how, what that's going to cost. But if the, if the 94 Player of the Month is as it is right now, I can only imagine the 95 Player of the Month is going to be even more expensive, right? Surely that, that just makes logical sense although knowing EA they'll probably allow you to place any special Aguero in there so all the red inform Aguero holders and, and all the player of the month Aguero holders will, will get it for for cheaper um, don't let him score don't let him score um, uh, keeping a clean sheet would be nice in a, in a champs game but um, all in all you know it's FIFA at the end of the day there's not a lot we can do about it we could just we could we could be who we are we could do what we do I still play this game on a day-to-day -day basis and I still give EA my money when I really shouldn't. So, you know, what, what incentive have they got to change? But yeah, as I say, guys, I'm, I'm a little bit disappointed in how expensive the Aguero Player of the Month card is. Um, but the good news is, is that we're now going to be able to sell on all of the stuff that we've got in the club. And I should be able to make... Wow, I absolutely dominated that guy. How do I not score more goals? I saw Larson miss a few sitters, but yeah. Um, I should be able to get up towards like 1 million coin mark after everything that I've got sells, we're already at 250,000 coins, as you can see there. A lot of stuff didn't sell. I'm going to just relist it again a few times just while the market settles, and then I'll readdress what's where and how. 
but we've got a lot of stuff on the trade pile there and I've still got a lot of stuff in the club as well that I can I can sell on so we get be victorious we get ourselves a squad fitness card wait cheers EA um yeah let's let, so with what I've got on the, on the uh, trade pile, that will take me up towards probably like 800,000 to a million coins. And then we've got Sigurdsson still, this Diego Costa still, uh, Laporte ones to watch, a load of informs here, and then a whole bunch of cards here that I can sell at any given time. So, you know, it might be, we might be looking into either completing one of the prime icons that we've currently got going on. I don't know if that's necessarily the thing I definitely want to do. Look at that, it's so expensive. Um, but this Frank Reichard card, Ah, that's it, right card, card. Um, he's not super expensive. 700k if you've got nothing, and I've got a lot of stuff. Doesn't require an icon to trade in, and it's a good card. It, like, you know, it just, well, it looks like a good card. I don't know if it is definitely a good card, but the benefit of me completing this Frank Rijkaard card if we actually went and got his main prime icon, I don't know how much he sells for. He's, I think he's not even on the market, but we're going to have a look in a second. But I mean, his defensive stats are great. His physicals are great. His shooting is from range is great. His finishing is a bit terrible, but it'll be a CDM. His passing and vision is great. Curve free kick accuracy and crossing is irrelevant for his position. His balance is a little bit of a, oh God. But his ball control reactions are great and his pace with a shadow or an anchor is also very good. But what this Frank Reichard card allows me to do is it allows me to start on full chemistry one of the players that I, I favour in this, this game, and that is Quincy Promise. Because we'll start in a 4-3-3. Um, Rui Costa will give Ronaldo full chem. Promise will get full chem off of a right card. And then we can fit the rest of the team in quite comfortably around the icons. Uh, you know, Modric at striker will get full chem on that point, or maybe uh, just eight chem. But yeah, we'll basically be able to build the team with Quincy Promes on full chemistry and I I would love that a lot because this card although he doesn't have the most amazing return for me that's because he's been a sub for all those games I rate this card very very highly and I would love to use him as a starter so bringing in Frank Rijkaard would basically just give us a, a good option to put Promes into the team um, at any point and then having two prime icons in Rijkaard and Costa we'd be able to fit the team just a lot better. We'd be able to manage this team much better with the players we want to use and such. And maybe depending on how much we can get and, and how cheap we could do that Rijkaard for and what we get back from those packs, we might be able to start working towards another potential uh, Prime Icon. And, and I know I said before, I don't think Prime Icons are worth it. I still stand by that fact. I don't think Prime Icons represent value for money. Uh, I think you're better off buying them on the market and then selling them when you're done or just not doing them at all and buying a you know, a card that is very similarly um, based as the icon for considerably cheaper. But in in sense of this being a, a YouTube series, an entertainment series and a road to glory, I'm more than happy to actually go out there and do some of these icons. You know, sure, it will cost us long term, but it will be fun. Uh, that's uh, that's for damn sure. Um, so let's go and have a look at uh, Raikard, see if there are any of him on the market. So he's 1.65 to buy right now. I mean, he has got good stats. He has got good stats. And that Desai card as well. Uh, we used this centre mid card at CDM a few times. Um, remember when I bought Lothar Matea centre back and Desai centre mid and we swapped them around. But this is a good card. Medium high work rates. Rapid, exceptional defence and physical. Great reactions and composure. This is a nice card. I do like that Desai card. And Henrik Larsson as well. He got an assist this game. I didn't like him. Um, I'll use him for the games, but for a guy with that good finishing and th those nice dribbling stats, that good, you know, good stand, that good pace, I expected him to put, I, I had two good opportunities with him in that game and, and one of them got saved and although I did a low driven, it went flying over the bar on the other one. I don't like the fact that he doesn't have four star skill moves. I, I really rely on four star skill moves. KDB, the man of the match in that game, got another couple of goals and an assist in there as well. All in all, I'm, I wasn't sold on this team initially you know I, I was struggling a little bit with liking this team the more I'm playing with this team the more I'm loving it De Bruyne I love Modric Ronaldo Nacho Versalco Asenjo I love those cards Rui Costa for as much as I've bashed him in the past and for as much as I know he he has low finishing and that is a problem at times this Rui Costa card as you can see has been incredible for me on a consistent level 361 goals and 516 assists in 796 games. That's 800 
and 77 goal contributions in 796 games. That is spectacular. It really, really is. It's a really good return from him. So I'm, I'm happy to keep him in the team for a while. But these slots here that we've got, basically the striker slot, which I would love, I would love to make uh, Quincy Promes, but I'm happy at having it as... Um, who have I got as my striker right now? Gabriel Jesus or even Sergio Aguero, if I go and get the gold one back. Um, I want to upgrade that striker spot, maybe to an, an icon, maybe just to a B striker. And I want to upgrade these two uh, centre-back and left centre-mid spots, maybe with a Patrick Vieira, maybe with a Rijkaard, a Petit, a Desailly, or you know, just someone, someone big. Because I think a team like this, where those icons aren't loans, I think this is a much, much more complete team than I've ever had. And I'm excited to take that into gameplay over the next few weeks. This, though, guys, for today is going to be the end of the video. If you did enjoy it, be sure to leave a like, rating, comment, and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. But for now, guys, I'm out. Peace.